Welcome back, everybody, to more Fatal Frame 3. I think this manor or whatever this place is, I feel like this is a place she was investigating for whatever paranormal photography stuff she does. Actually, I know it is because we were in a room that she was in with Miku. That one wasn't completely my fault. I was actually kind of close to catching that one. I didn't really explain this before. You could probably figure it out either in the last video or now you'll kind of get it. Basically, we got to put Ray to bed in order to progress the game as anything interesting in this game pretty much happens in dreams. It makes sense. You've got to actually have her go to bed in order to progress the story. Well, there will be one thing this video that won't be in a dream. That'll be pretty interesting. And I don't mean Ray walking around in her nightgown, although that's pretty interesting too. And Miku is always cute. That area always trips me up. I'll get it at some point. But every time we go in to a new night, there will be an herbal medicine over there. There was a hidden ghost over there. I missed it. I think I walked back over there and saved, but I don't remember. So why would I want to save missing a hidden ghost? Oh right, I'm supposed to be being quiet, letting the atmosphere do its thing. Well, I told you last video we would be checking out this room. This is the room that I missed a hidden ghost in, decided not to show. So far I'm not digging the atmosphere on this game all that much. It's not bad. No? I'm guessing that was another vanishing ghost this is a file you could have got earlier I figured we'd be back over here that's why I just waited I wasn't gonna pick it up off screen not that it really shows much that's another item that will be there whenever we come in here whenever a new night starts Yeah, it's not bad, but this atmosphere isn't doing it for me quite like the atmosphere in the first two games had. I'm guessing Vanishing Ghost I missed? Okay, there's a hidden ghost up there. Oh, right. Okay, so I missed the hidden ghost. There's going to be another one. There's a save point back there at the back of the stairs. I didn't know if it was going to spawn the one that I missed. But I knew if I went ahead and saved, I could come back and at least try until I got that hidden ghost there. Which, it only took me two tries. First time I would have got it, but I hit the wrong button. Kind of annoying. But at the end of the day, it's my own fault for hitting the wrong button. 
Hey, anybody remember these from the first two games? These are essentially the... Those weird little sealed locks that you have to take a picture of, and then you gotta go take a picture of something else in order to open it. It's kinda weird. That's what that is, anyways. Fortunately, this one's not too far away. My controller was vibrating here, so I was looking to see if there's a hidden ghost around here. One thing I missed from the first game are some stationary hidden ghosts that you can shoot for points. In the first game, they weren't all vanishing ghosts, so you at least could get some of them. I'm not sure if we have to equip this or if it automatically equips, but it's our first upgrade lens and it's going to let us know when we have a chance for a fatal frame shot, which I will miss all of them probably, or get a few by luck. I will go ahead and say that my camera is a little different. All I will say is cheaters can win sometimes. I wanted to show this off. If you see that place, this area in throughout the viewfinder of the camera, and then you see it without it. Yeah, much nicer without it. Kind of reminds me. Creepy. Kind of reminds me of a Supernatural episode it was one of the newer seasons. I'm going to guess season 11 or 12. Hopefully 11, because 12 kind of sucked. They did an episode where there were creatures that were actually good creatures. I think it was an actual human being was the bad guy in this episode. And these creatures were... They existed to comfort children when they were going through things say if they had parents that didn't spend time with them or something I don't know Every, I don't know how they decide which ones they go to or how oh god it's happening uh, a ghosty hi ghosty Thank you ghosty Yeah, I upgraded the basic functions to their max level, and I'm using upgraded film, which at this point in the game, if you're not cheating, then you won't have access to just yet. I wanted to make these ghost battles go a lot better, and you'll see an example of why I decided to do that here coming up in this video of a ghost battle that takes probably longer than it should. Or you can watch my Fatal Frame 1 or 2 playthrough. She says that a lot. First, I want to come in here. Speaking of upgraded film, that's Type 61 film. That's the next level up from Type 14. So if you need it, there it is. Go get it.
Man, why would anything want to ruin a fine-ass body like that? I'll admit her hair isn't my preference, although if she just parted it differently, I might like it a little better, but it's not a deal breaker. She's still pretty fine. Stupid ghosts and curses or whatever's going on here. Miku. Well, crap. She's out. I'm not going to make the obvious joke I wanted to make. So we'll check the letter from Miku. I know it mentioned something about her having dinner ready for Ray or uh, lunch or something. More story stuff that I really wish was... Well, I guess I can actually forgive the letter or not being voice acted. But I am still... Ah, crap. Quite irritated that the conversations between Rei and Miku aren't voice acted. It really takes me out of the story. Come on. Hello? Rei, it's Miku. Nice little tease there, making us think that we were going to get voice acting. Awesome. I really probably need to go back and read these. She's just telling us that there's some girl at the hospital. She looked into that photo that we gave her last video. And it's this chick in the hospital. There's probably more details about her. It's that girl we saw in the dream. I heard from the hospital that she's been asleep for a long time and no one has been able to wake her. Did you go to the hospital? Mm-hmm. And with that, well, what can you really say, except it's time to take this fine-ass Asian lady to bed.
Oh, yeah. We're doing it. Ah, this game really does. I want to say mimic Silent Hill 4, but I can't remember if this came out before Silent Hill 4 or not. I don't remember what year this came out. Okay, we'll be actually heading that way in a little bit. Right now we need to go this way. I was going to talk about how that chick said to Ray to wake her up, but I didn't have to. Game pointed it out again for everybody. I don't know how, how she could have vanished like that, though. That's really weird. I don't know if they explained that. I, I could see something killing you in your dreams, maybe. But I would think the body would still have to be there. Is there a nightly herbal medicine? Yeah, let's go this way. I don't think there's actually a hidden ghost for me to miss this time, which is nice. I feel bad about myself when I miss them. And I should. So anyways, that Supernatural episode, these creatures, whatever they were, which would take the form of different kind of fun kind of people. One would look like a mermaid, I forget what another dude looked like, and they would just befriend these kind of sad kids. And then somebody went around murdering them, but they were invisible to adults. So brothers go into this room where one had been brutally murdered and of course the kid was traumatized because she had walked in on this incredibly bloody mess of a murder scene of this creature and of course her mom sees nothing and one of them had contacted the brothers and gave them the ability to see them so they see this horrific scene of just death and body parts and everything everywhere mom was just completely oblivious and somehow ended up with like I feel like it was brain matter on her forehead or something like that I don't remember exactly how that happened because it was a year or two ago when I saw the episode that scene with the camera and the blood in the camera and then not when you're not looking through the camera just reminded me of that it took me a long time to finish that story but important shit's happened in the game since then Takes me a while to get my stories out. Ah, crap. And this will introduce something that's common in the Fatal Frame games, the random ghost encounter. Usually this happens if you take too long. I didn't really feel like I took too long to do this. Fortunately, with my upgraded camera, she goes down in one shot, which is nice. Ghosts ruining this fine ass Asian body. <sighs> Bastards. I don't know, I've never really been a tattoo fan. I'm not saying I would turn down a girl just because she had one. Just I guess it would depend on where it is. If it was like a sleeve, then that would not be cool. I guess I could ignore it, but I would be irritated. I'm just not a big tattoo fan. If you like them, good on you, but they're just not my thing. Yeah, I wouldn't save it because there's going to be another vanishing ghost up here. Get ready! I think there might be three of them all in a row. You can get them all in one shot. I seem to get points for doing this both times I did that, so I don't know if 
even on a time when I actually got some of them, I missed one, which would be really bad. Or what happened there? That chick died in real life. Time to see what happened to her in the dream. Well, crap. We're basically going to get accosted by several ghosts here. And this is the section I was talking about earlier when I mentioned a section which will really show why I use the upgrades that I do so early. Because I am not good at combat in these games. Oh, wouldn't you know it? I finally have the thing charged all the way and you had to go and do that. You couldn't even give me one money shot. One glory shot. No. Jerk. Part of why I'm so bad at this game, I always, as soon as I got any kind of a lock on an enemy, I just shoot because I'm like, holy crap, I can actually hit it. I like these games, I'm just not any good at them. Although the first one frustrated the crap out of me. But then I'd never played a game like this before. Well, with combat like this. Damn it. And these things are just going to seem like they just keep coming, but just keep exercising them. You know what? You know what? You are not a nice person and nobody likes being around you, that's what. Open up a camera of whoop ass! Which would have sounded better if I'd said that after shooting one. Open up a camera of whoop ass. I'd say it again. Y you know what? You're trying to ruin my badass moment here, and I don't appreciate it. Just come take your medicine. And I believe that chick has now succumbed to whatever this is, and in this dream, she's now a beastie. I guess it makes as much sense as anything in this game since she died in real life. Still not entirely sure what happened to her body. Well, time for you to go bye bye. I know you were an innocent victim in all this. <sighs>
to me, that's the part that angers me the most, is these damn spirits are ruining this fine-ass Asian body. I know that chick's an innocent victim in all this, but it had to be done. We had to put her down. Like most ghosts in these games, I'm pretty sure she's going to be back. Probably this video. Because why not? They very rarely go down on one shot. In one fight, if you will. Let's say hi to Miku. I'm sure she's back. Still haven't seen the cat. I wouldn't mind seeing Miku and... No, we're not even gonna... Ah, oh, fuck it. I already started. Wouldn't mind seeing Miku or Ray's cat. Oh, yeah. More dialogue and journal. I'm guessing this is more research into that chick that died. So that's one thing I love about the Tomb Raider series now with the 2013 Tomb Raider and Rise of the Tomb Raider. Any documents you get are voice acted. That really helps with the progression of the story. Hell, we don't even get these conversations voice acted. I know I've complained about that a lot, but it irritates the crap out of me. Girl, why are you giving me this photo back? I don't want it. I guess that's all we're doing for this night. Nope, we got one other thing to do, and then I guess that's going to be it for the video. Okay. We haven't really walked around at night. Fine lady in her nightgown. I'm basically taking y'all to show you where a hidden ghost is that I'm going to miss. It's raining again. It seems like you're having a lot of nightmares lately. Are you alright? That's gotta suck to have nightmares. It also sucked that they wasted voice acting on that and not parts of these actual important conversations. Yeah, I'm salty about that. Game that's at least 12, 13, 14 years old. I'm bitching about it, because why not? The once or twice a year I actually have a nightmare suck enough as it is. I can't imagine being one of those people that get like night terrors or shit like that. I mean, my god. I, mean, I can't even say on average it's once or twice a year. I'm just guessing because it's so rare for me. I say that, yeah, now I'm sure I'm going to have some sort of awful dream just because I said that. I'm going to think positive. I'm going to imagine Miku and Rei. Mm. Okay, I'm being a perv again, but you've got to admit, if you've seen any of my videos where I have been a perv, here's where the, there you go. I'm sorry, wait, what, 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 what the, what the uh, god damn it. For me. Given that we're playing a game with nice-looking Asian women, I could be a lot worse. I will freely admit, especially in Tomb Raider 2013, and even in Rise of the Tomb Raider, I was pretty bad. I think I was worse in Tomb Raider 2013 than anything else. So I could be a lot worse than I have been so far. And if this was PS3 or PS4, where the graphics would be significantly better... I probably would be a lot worse. I'm actually pretty proud of myself so far. But anyways, that's all we're doing for this video. Let's go in here and save our game. And that'll conclude this video. So thank y'all so much for watching. It's been a blast. And I will see y'all next time when we continue this lovely, lovely game.